I've seen people try these build challenges where you're essentially trying to build a sims house that's like a puzzle. So I thought today we could try to do something like that. So I've built a whole bunch of rooms, and in this case, each room gets one tile bigger than the previous one. So I have a one tile wide room, a two tile room, a three tile room, all the way up to a 12 tile room. And I'm gonna try to piece together all these little tiny boxes into a real house. So you can see here, this room is only one tile, this one is two, this one is three. These ones are gonna be kind of hard because they're so small, and then it starts to get a little bit bigger. We've got four, five, six, seven, and so on. So the rules are pretty simple. We have to use every single one of these rooms. We can't delete or add any different walls. All of these walls have to stay there, and we have to actually try to use every single one of the rooms. No, like, random empty spaces. I'm gonna really try to use this one tile space. It'll be hard with some of them because they're kind of weird shapes. I don't really know what to expect here because a lot of these rooms are quite small, so I don't know how much we can do. Hopefully we can get at least a couple bedrooms and a fully functional house, but I'm gonna try really hard to make it actually look good. So I think for starters it would probably help us to have some sort of entryway. We need like a hallway or something to get us to all of the rooms, so I think this six tile one might work well for that. And then maybe we could put the biggest room next to it and have that be a living room. I feel like it would be nice to have a living room right off the entrance, Although, maybe it would be better to have the biggest room be the bedroom, so we can fit a double bed. Okay, how about this? We use this room as the kitchen, this is 11 tiles, and we put it right here, and then I can use that tiny one tile room to fill in the gap, and that could become a pantry or something. So we can decorate it with some shelves and stuff and put some food storage so it looks like a pantry. Obviously your sims don't actually need one, it's fake, but it might be a good way to use that tiny room, because you can't really put much else in there. Okay, from there, I'm thinking I I might try and put a bedroom next to this hallway. I could do a door like right there, and then this can be a really small bedroom. Maybe we can get a little porch or something in the front of the house. Okay, perhaps this room? becomes the living room. It's really small, so I don't know how well that's gonna work. Maybe there could be a couch here and a TV, or I don't know. Maybe a dining room is better. You know what? Maybe we could have a living room in this front room instead. This can be the dining room. Oh no. <laughs> I did this weird. Wait, am I allowed to change this? As long as it's five tiles, can I still do it? Because what if we used the room, same shape, just flipped, and then I had this become a bathroom right here? Well, I sort of envisioned that this would be a bedroom. I might need to get myself another hallway, to be honest. Maybe I'll try and use this, and then potentially, oh. This is weird, but potentially we could have a door there and a door there, and this big room and this weird long skinny room can both be bedrooms. Let me put some tile down to hopefully like make it more clear what I'm picturing. So carpet is bedrooms, the tile is the bathroom and the kitchen, this wood is the hallway, here's the dining room, another hallway, a living room, and then I have some really weird amounts of space left that I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> I guess these kind of fit, so I am completely and totally lost about a couple of these rooms. I'm thinking that maybe this room can be an extra bedroom, so we'll have two weird long skinny rooms. Maybe this little tiny hall thing can become an extra bathroom. Um, it's quite small, and the door's in a really inconvenient place, but we can try. And then maybe this little tiny part over here could be a closet, or even like a laundry room or something. It's a horrible shape. <laughs> I feel like it's a horrible shape is what I feel, but it all fits. I've got a vision. How on earth is this tiny thing gonna be a three bedroom house? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could try and use this like a chimney. This is not cheating, okay? I do a lot of shell challenges and I do fake chimneys all the time. Half walls are fair game. Full walls are not. Half walls are fine. Okay, so here's kind of what I was originally picturing for the front of the house. Now that I've actually placed it, I think it looks horrible. So I don't really know if this is gonna work. I had that porch idea, but maybe a smaller porch is better just because it fits a little better. This roof line might work. It's a very simple front of the house, which is totally fine. And then the back can be quite simple like this too. Oh, I'm regretting this part. I don't really know what kind of roof to put on it. Should there be a back door? I feel like we can't really have a back door out of here because these rooms are so tiny, we won't have room for another door. I only have space for a bed, and I'm not exaggerating. It's like there's only space for a bed. There can be no back door. Oh, oh no. Okay, maybe 
maybe I'll just do it like this. It's inoffensive, it's small. It kind of looks cute from the front. Now I'm gonna try really hard to put some windows down and make this look not horrible. To be honest, this is already like 10 times better than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm feeling great right now. I like the little brown windows. I might try and put a brown roof too. Should we try and do a fancier wallpaper? Something like this that's got brick and- no, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna try, but actually it looks bad, so I take it back. I'll just put some paneling around the whole place. It definitely needs some columns to help split this up. So here's what I've got on the outside. And honestly, I feel like this shape turned out really cute, which is very surprising to me because I had like really low expectations. I'm gonna quickly go through and put a couple bits of landscaping down. We'll need things like a mailbox and a trash can. I guess maybe I could put a door to a back patio over here. My fear is just that this bedroom is so small. I don't know if we've got space to have another door because we have this door and the closet door and now the outside door. Already the bed's gonna have to go in the corner and then that leaves us like no space for a dresser, so maybe not. We don't need a back door. It's fine. The house is perfect as it is. I probably could have put it on a smaller lot in hindsight because um, this is not taking up a lot of room. Maybe I'll switch it. Okay, please don't crash. I haven't saved. This isn't funny. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my god. The game scares me. Every time I try and use the gallery, there's always something scary going on. Oh, this fits perfectly on a 20 by 15 lot. Okay, that's way better. I'm just gonna put a little mat by the front door and maybe a plant or something. And I think the whole exterior is done. I think that came together really well, all things considered. And now we just have to furnish 12 rooms. I think I'll probably start with the kitchen. So in here, I was picturing counters all along this wall. I guess we could probably wrap it around in front of the window too. The problem is the window is just a little bit too big. We could probably even get a dishwasher. I sort of hate this floor tile. It was more of a filler thing. <laughs> I wasn't planning on keeping it. Oh, this house is gonna end up being expensive. I'm using an expensive counter, but I like the color of that better. Sometimes in real life, when you've got like a fancy pantry, they've got a cabinet and then shelves above it. I'm gonna delete that wall just so I can see what I'm doing better. I'll put it back, I promise. I just can't see inside of this pantry to put the decorations up. So I put like some little snack packs and like various clutter so it looks like someone's actually storing their food in here. And then I'll put that doorway back. It was just hard to see at first. Maybe I could try and put a clock or something on top of this wall. I feel like your grandma probably has that. Okay, I finished the kitchen. I put some clutter by the sink. I got some aprons, painted the walls. I probably could have done a smaller kitchen, but I think I like how much space they have. Over here on this side is gonna be the living room. And this is probably why I should have done a smaller kitchen because now I have like no space for it. It is tight in here, but I feel like it's kind of cozy despite that. I don't think it's a problem that it's small. And we've got enough space to put everything, so it's fine there. Oh my god, horse is confirmed. <laughs> Should I use that? This is from Strangerville. This is not supposed to be a hint, by the way. That I'm, I'm joking about the leak. There is no confirmation it's a joke. Maybe I'll get another window. Oh, I like this little room. I was gonna have this part be a dining room, but now that I think about it, it might be a little bit smaller than I even realized. It'll be fine. Your Sims can still walk around this table, so that'll be okay. I wanna put something in this nook, but I didn't really think about what. Oh, I need a door as well. Uh-oh, I need a door into the bathroom. Maybe I could do a bookshelf? Oh, it would be cool if we did some like built-in bookshelves somewhere. You know what? Maybe I could use the built-ins from the new kit and have them be in that hole. I guess the one problem is there's no windows in this room, which I didn't really think about. I'm just glad to have space for this table at all, okay? I really didn't think I was gonna have a full dining room. I'm impressed that we managed to get anything out of it. Oh, I need to put a thermostat somewhere. Maybe I'll put that in this entryway. What if we use this bonsai tree? I realize that it's kind of large, but I'm just thinking it's nice to try and put in skill building items in as many places as possible because the house is so small. I'm not sure if I should put anything else in the entryway because I want to make sure your sims can still walk through. So we've got a little front door with the coat rack. I put the bonsai tree. That takes you into the dining room. And then from there, we've got another little tiny hallway, which to be honest, probably can't have anything in it either. Maybe I could put like a calendar. It wouldn't hurt to get... Oh, how about this? What if instead of the plain doors, we got some of the cute doors and we could try and use that as the inspiration for the bedrooms but that gives us like way more visual interest in the hallway which I feel like we kind of need because the hallway is so empty and it's not gonna have a lot of space for furniture then we've got this little nightmarish bathroom that I don't really know 
how to handle, to be honest. Maybe if we use the little tiny living toilet and stuck it in the corner, your sims can walk through. Then we could get a nice sink over here. And if we use the shower from university, they can walk on top of this. So they could get through there too. I feel like this will be still fine and functional. It's not really fancy, but it works. Maybe in this room I'll get a tub. I guess the room is still so small, I probably shouldn't. We can just put a shower in this tiny nook. When you spend this much time building in a tiny house, I feel like your sense of scale gets thrown off because I don't know what I was thinking trying to put a tub in here Obviously, it's too small for that, but the whole house is small So I thought for a second it might be fine. It was not fine. Well, that's all the bathroom stuff finished, which is good It just leaves us with a couple more rooms left to do so I think I'll start with the kids bedrooms Maybe I'll decorate one for a kid and the other one more for a teen I think I'm gonna try and make this room gamer themed because it kind of fits with this poster or maybe I'll switch the doors then. This door has like a video game controller on the back, so that might work. They can have a giant gamer computer as well. Um, <laughs> and that might be it. I don't know if they can have anything else. I'm serious. I don't know if you can put anything else in here. I guess I could maybe get a mirror over here, probably a bookshelf on the desk, but I'm scared to put anything else in case they can't walk through here. It's only like the one tile wide, so we gotta be careful. Maybe they can have some more posters. Posters are good because it fills the whole wall and it makes the place look a little bit more interesting. I wonder if I could do a black accent wall. That might be kind of fun. And the rest of the walls can be blue. Maybe I'll pick a different colored rug. Okay, that is extremely chaotic. So maybe not the black accent wall. <laughs> this is a lot to take in. I'm scared of adding too much. So I might just call it there. It's annoying because you want to put stuff like back here in this corner underneath the bunk bed, but it doesn't function when you do that. You physically cannot put anything there. I guess I could probably put the desk like this instead. Wait, maybe I could try and scoot this over and that would give me enough room in this little corner to maybe put like a tiny dresser or something. Or even if we got a shelf, cause this bookshelf has some space for clutter. Oh my goodness, this is so much better. And I put the full bookshelf back behind the bed so it looks all built in. And because it's tall, it's almost like a nightstand for the bed up top. I feel like that worked out really, really well. And then we can do this room as a kid's bedroom. So I'll try and put some more toys in here and stuff. I think I'll do the same thing with the desk and the bunk bed, but maybe I'll go for a dinosaur theme instead. Oh, this is like a little bit too big. I wanna use that so badly, but it's like slightly too big for the space. We could probably try to get a fun dresser. Like with this one, you can see the backpack clutter in it and stuff. And maybe we could get I don't know, this guy? Can you still walk past that? I think so, but maybe like barely, literally barely, cause it's a teddy bear. I'll get some dinosaur wallpaper. I might get an extra computer in here too. Cause there's like literally nothing else to do in this house. And that might be the whole room done. Cause I'm not sure if I can fit anything else in there. All right, let's try and decorate this closet. Cause we've got some cute closet stuff. Oh, do you know what? I didn't even think about this. We could put an actual closet. This is the one from get together. I don't really use it very often, but it fits. It's really well right there. It does kind of complicate things with the rest of the room because I don't know if I can fit a nightstand. The dream home decorator one is really small, so that should be fine. And then maybe we can get an easel because I was gonna try and put a dresser in the corner, but now that I have the closet, I won't need to. We can try and make a little art corner instead. I am obsessed with these canvases from Eco Lifestyle. They're also really big, so it's a good decor option. It fills like the whole wall, basically. I love these leaf paintings from Tiny Living. I think they're so cute. I feel like I probably shouldn't put too much else in that room though, because I'm scared about it not being accessible. So is that the building done then? I guess maybe I could go through and add some last minute details, like some terrain paint. It might help to get a little bit of extra landscaping. To be honest, I feel like this turned out really well. I had kind of low expectations, because usually these build challenges are hard. And I figure because it was so small, it was going to be impossible to make it look good. But honestly, I don't really think it's bad at all. Sometimes when I do these builds, you can like really tell that it was a weird challenge build. And there's a couple parts of this house that seem like a weird challenge build. Like this weird corner back here and also the rooms being a little bit tiny is kind of weird. But I think for the most part, it all worked out pretty well. I'm impressed that you can sleep four sims in this house, to be honest, because it's really, really small. I've been thinking about trying to do a puzzle shell as our next 
sex shell challenge. This one was obviously very specific with like the weird one, two, three tile challenge part, but I've been thinking about making like an actual puzzle piece sort of shell challenge and doing that with the community. So let me know if I should give that a try. I'm gonna stick this build on the gallery if you want to download it. It's 40,000 simoleons and it's so tiny, oops. But I think on that note, I might end this video right here. There's not really much to show you. There's not much I can tour because <laughs> there's not a lot to see. So I think with that, I'm gonna go and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I always forget about those painted doors, but we have quite a few options of them and they're so cute. 